And so people, I think, who are in a position uh, to uh, make changes and get rid of some of these programs uh, that you have for fear the government might take them over uh, might, might be something to consider. Uh, I can't say for sure what they're going to do. They may do nothing. On the other hand, you wouldn't want to, want to be caught in a crossfire when the government says, well, we're going to take over all the retirement plans. We'll give you so many credits for, you know, what you take, uh, what we take in that belongs to you. It's, it's a part of the nationalizing process of creating a corporatist fascist government. I mean, they're just pulling everything together, and you can see them doing it. Incidentally, I got invited to uh, next month to uh, go on one of the super liberal radio programs in the New York, New Jersey area. And um, I think that should be quite interesting. Uh, Ruben Torres, uh, who I believe is the ex-congressman, uh, I don't know that for sure, but I think it's him. Uh, he asked, asked me to come on, and almost all the rest of his guests, and people from the CFR, etc. And uh, I told him, I said, uh, uh, you know, I don't pull any punches. And, uh, you know, a lot of people you've had on there, there's a, you know, big names, Pastor, uh, the professor for the American Institute, and the guy for the CFR who laid out the new um, North American uh, Union, uh, people like that. And, um, of course, I don't debate anybody, but, um, and they won't debate me because, uh, and, and they know, uh, that I won't take any prisoners. But, um, uh, it's interesting that they would ask me to go on. They probably want to show a fairness doctrine of some kind, but anyway, I'll be on there next month. Um, they'll probably never have me on again. <laughs> I was on with uh, Dave on Von Kleist this morning. Uh, jo Joyce was off seeing her mom, who was, I guess, ill. And uh, we were talking about the Gaza thing. And um, I won't go into it, but the bottom line was they, they said, well, uh, what's the, um, uh, what do you think the situation is? And, and I said, well, uh, the Israelis want the offshore gas leases. Uh, so they can take advantage of it uh, that the Palestinians have, and um, they also uh, want have a, a creating a backdoor excuse, which has been planned by the guys who are leaving the White House to make even more money with the Third World War. Uh, they are um, using this as a backdoor method of setting the Middle East on fire. You know, they, they've gone into Gaza and murdered about a thousand people. And I'm talking about the non-combatants. And they said it was because uh, Hamas was shooting rockets in their country. Well, occasionally they kill somebody. And it's not good. They shouldn't be doing it. But um, that was the excuse. So Lebanon started lobbing them in. And so you get Lebanon, Syria, uh, Gaza, uh, which is Palestinians, and and so, you know, it's going to bring Iran in. And uh, it could be a third world war. And, you know, these guys, they just don't give up. Murder and ma'am is their middle name. It's just disgraceful. All that human life lost for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So... Since you're on that topic, I have a question that came in, and it says the Human Rights Watch has called on Israel to stop using white phosphorus, which it says has been used in military operations in the densely populated Gaza Strip. This type of phosphorus was used by Israeli against Lebanon in 2006 and by American forces against fighters in Fallujah, Iraq, in 2004. This phosphorus burns skin, flesh, and bones. Yeah, it, it's unstoppable. If you get it on your arm, you may as well cut it off. And uh, there's absolutely no human reason for using such weapons. They're also using uh, uh, the uh, the one that says it creates the bomblets. 
uh, that they they dumped into uh, Lebanon about 15 hours before the ceasefire was uh, put together, and then they wouldn't tell the Lebanese, Lebanese where they had dropped them. Uh, they go in by um, artillery shell, I guess. Um, what are they called? The cluster? One, cluster bombs, yeah. Had a metal block there because I don't have a brain. But anyway, um, they're using them as well. And you don't use those in civilian populations and, and unless you're a, a serial murderer. And um, I didn't even give you the, the bottom line on what I said on Joyce and Dave's program. And I said, look, these people are nothing but a bunch of Nazis. That's what they are. I've had more, probably about 25 Jewish subscribers write to me and tell me they're absolutely disgusted. I talked to one guy in Brooklyn on Friday who said, all the guys down at the gym, and he, he, he lives in the section that's all Jewish, he says, they're all sick, just sick about it. And, you know, the um, the actions of Israel. And, of course, they're all sick, too, about the, how would I put it, the bad light that uh, Bernard uh, Madoff, the Madoff, uh, has put Jewish people in. It's, it's terrible. And, and this guy is not even in jail. He's in his $70 million apartment or whatever the heck it is. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, some kid in Harlem gets caught over the limit with grass or some drug or something. He does 10 years. He goes to, you know, the tombs and he stays there until they try him, you know, like, what, six months later? And, uh, you know, he does 10 years fed. Yeah, he, he gets out in eight years if he's lucky. He's 20 years old, he gets out when he's 30. He's a hardened criminal. Stupid. Unbelievable. And so Bernard just floats around. He robbed people $100 billion, not 50, 100. Well, we'll see how it all develops. Well, they were supposed to, did they, did you say that they announced whether they did revoke his bail or not today? Weren't they supposed yeah. to? Yeah. They, did. they didn't revoke it. No. I mean, you know, I've been saying for years and years, there are two sets of justice. One for the Illuminus, CFR, Trilat, Bilderberger types, and then us. Now, there's always been a money discrepancy in the way that people are treated within the court system. And, of course, if you have money, you buy the best attorneys. And the best attorneys have a better chance of getting a better outcome than an attorney that's not as good. And it's just like any other profession. Now, there's good ones and not so good ones. But um, there's a tremendous disparity. I mean, look at this business that's going on. Uh, when I was on this morning, um, uh, uh, Mr. Berg, uh, the attorney who filed these lawsuits, was coming on. And I couldn't stay on the list to it. I had too much to do. And um, uh, it, it's patently obvious that the president-elect of the United States is not an American citizen. And it'll end up in the Supreme Court, and they'll do nothing. And the people in Washington and the people of the United States say, so what? I mean, we are the law, or it is whatever we say it is. You don't live in a republic. You don't live in a democracy. You live in a nation that is run by fascists, just like Israel is, and Japan. <clears throat> and I guess now that China has become business capitalists, I guess they're fascists too. So... If America wants their country back, they're going to have to take it. And uh, that means overthrowing the government, because they've lost it. That's the only way you're going to get it back. Either that, you're going to live on your knees. If 
you like doing that, it's okay. I just live someplace else with his freedom. <laughs>